focus on your breath coming in, going out. You're giving the mind a good place to be grounded, because otherwise it gets blown around. There are the winds of gain and the winds of loss, there's the winds of status, the winds of loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These are like winds from all four directions, excuse me, all eight directions. And for anyone who's not really well grounded, you just get blown around, like one of those balloons that leaves a party someplace and goes miles and miles and miles and falls down into the brush someplace. If you really want to be safe, okay, you want to stay grounded. The Buddha says the image of a well-trained mind is like a stone pillar that's buried halfway down into the ground. So no matter which direction the wind comes and no matter how strong, the, the pillar doesn't shake at all. Because you don't want your mind to be depending on things of the world that can change so quickly, because that means the state of your mind is going to change awfully quickly. The things you depend on suddenly get slipped out from under you and you fall. So we've got to learn how to do is find your own foundation inside. This is why we stay with the breath. Even though the breath changes between in and out, there's always a breath there. As long as the body is alive, there's going to be breath energy in the body. And you can take this as a way of staying grounded in the present moment, because it's in the present moment that you can learn about the mind and see what's going on in the mind. And figure out what's skillful, what's not, what you want to follow, th want to want to follow through with and what you don't want to follow through with. This is a really good place to stay. And so when the winds start blowing, you can decide, okay, just hunker down. You don't have to get blown around by them. And then when they blow things your way, if it's something good, you learn how to use it. If it's not something good, you just let it go. And you find that there's actually good to all kinds of things that you might not like. Like loss can teach you a lot about who your true friends are. Loss of status can also teach you a lot about who your friends are. When you've got a lot of status and your status is very high, people come thronging around. You don't know why they're throwing you around, what they want out of you. When you don't have any status, okay, that's, that's when you see who your friends are. Same with criticism. Criticism teaches you a lot about things you might not notice about yourself. And so if the criticism is true, you've learned something really valuable. If it's not true, you've learned something about the person who made the criticism, which is also good to know. Pain is also something really important to learn how to stay with in order to understand why it is that pain drives the mind like a, the driver of a wagon with a whip. The whip cracks and we just go running off. Well, why is that? What is it about pain that we're so afraid of? When the mind settles down, you can look at pain and not feel threatened by it. So a lot of good things to learn, even from the bad ways of the world, as long as you're not blown around by them. That's why you want a grounding right here, right now. And that's why you want to stay with the breath. Make the breath comfortable so it's a good place to stay. And you'll find that you're less blown around by things, less influenced by things outside, because you've got something good right here inside that you can hold on to. Mm -hmm. 